And we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the final part of the show, we're going to talk about the current standings uh, after Week 13. Um, we'll go over them, and that'll basically be the end of the show. So uh, we'll start off with the AFC. So the Dolphins, they're at 9-3. and three. Uh, Bills are 6-6, six and six, three games back. Jets are 4-8. and eight. Patriots are 2-10. and ten. Um, I, Again, st- still um, cannot believe that the Patriots have this bad of a record. Um, never thought that would be the case, but <clears throat> here we are. Uh, so then in the AFC North, you got the Ravens at nine and three, Steelers seven and five, Browns seven and five, and then the Bengals are six and six. And it's kind of funny because, well, it's not really funny, but, um, I would say it's weird. It's weird how in years past, um, you had all these quarterbacks, uh, that weren't on the the Raven like Lamar Jackson would be the quarterback that's hurt. The other quarterbacks in the division would be healthy. Now it's the complete opposite. You got Lamar Jackson as the only uh, healthy starting QB, uh, and, and you got Jake Browning for the Bengals now. Flacco is playing for the the Browns, and then you got Mitchell Trubisky now, who's going to be the starter for the Steelers until Kenny Pickett comes back. Um, so uh, now ho- now. There's probably going to be people out there that are going to be like, well, if the, these guys didn't get hurt, the Ravens went... Eh. The Ravens are a good team. The Ravens are a good team. I'm, I'm not going to I'm not gonna be one of those people, but I feel like there's definitely people out there that are going to say that. So, um, yeah. So then for the AFC South, now with the Jags losing, um, the Colts and the Texans are one game back. So the Jags are 8-4. Uh, Texans, are se- or Texans and the Colts are 7-5. Uh, Titans are 4-8. and eight. Um, then in the AFC West, uh, the Broncos, they could have picked up a game on the, on the Chiefs if they would have won, um, but they didn't. They dropped to 6-6. Six and six. Uh, Chiefs are 8-4. and four. Chargers and Raiders are both 5-7. and seven. Then the NFC got the Eagles at 10-2. and two. Cowboys are 9-3. and three. Big Sunday night matchup. Big. Because um, they could tie the Eagles. Then you got the Giants at 4-8. and eight. There's people still out there saying, hey, they still got a shot. Still got to play the Eagles twice. Yeah. So, it's not going to go good. And, of course, one of those games is going to be on Christmas, and that is going to just... I, I honestly... I'm, I'm going to watch it for fantasy purposes, but other than that, it, it's just... It's going to be a... Uh, it's not going to be fun. It's not going to be fun. Um, so, the Giants, yeah, 4-8. and eight, Commanders, 4-9. and nine. NFC North... Um, the Lions are nine and three. Vikings and Packers are six and six. They're three games out, but yeah, they they got a their focus is going to be on the wild card. Um, and then you got the Bears who are four and eight. Then our favorite division, the NFC South. Falcons are six and six. Bucks are five and seven. Saints are five and seven. Panthers are one and eleven. They are they're officially eliminated from any kind of playoff contention. Um, they still had some hope with the division, if you even want to call it that. Because I, I I said there was a scenario in which the Panthers could still win the division when they were you know one and ten, but that's out the window now. It's not happening. Um, and then in the NFC West, Niners are nine and three, Rams are six and six, Seahawks are six and six, Cardinals are three and ten. Um, when it comes to the NFC South, still holding out that the Bucks can somehow pass the Falcons. They do play the Falcons this week in Atlanta. They already lost to them, um, but their offense has been kind of struggling as of late. So, um, you know, and the Falcons' offense isn't great either, but we'll see how it goes. But uh, unfortunately, I'm kind of leaning towards taking the Falcons, which actually is good because if I do that and the Bucks win, then the Bucks will be in first place, I think. So that would be great. I'd take that. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. So when we go to uh, how the wild card and the, the seedings are currently uh, – at the moment, so you got the Dolphins that have Dolphins have the one seed right now. Ravens have the two. Chiefs have the three. Jaguars have the four, and the Steelers have the top wild card spot. Um, the Browns have the second. Colts have the third. All three of those teams are seven and five. You got the Texans who are tied at seven and five. I think the Texans are going to get in. Um, I think one of these teams is going to fall out. Um, you know, especially with. It's going to be hard to overcome these quarterback injuries. And that's the thing. Gardner Minshew, again, he's another backup quarterback that's in. But he's playing good. Um, no disrespect to Gardner Minshew. Gardner Minshew's solid. 
Um, I think he, I think he's the best backup quarterback in the NFL. Um, Cause he's a guy that started too. Um, you know, and he didn't do bad with the, uh, with the Eagles last year. Um, you know, filling in for Hertz. Well, I actually, I'm pretty sure they, well, they lost like both games. They lost to the Saints and they lost to the Cowboys, but he did play well against the Cowboys, but they had a lot of turnovers in that game. Um, in general, the Eagles did, but I, I think Minshew is, if he's not the best, he is one of the best backup quarterbacks in the NFL. Um, but yeah, I think the Texans get in. The Bills definitely could still get in, but it's, it's just going to be tough because they got the Chiefs. Then they got the Cowboys. Chargers is going to be a, a shootout probably. Um, home against the Patriots. Then at the at the Dolphins. I mean, it's going to be tough. It's it's going to be tough. I mean, I, I I mean it'd be nice to see them in because you know you see Josh Allen and and if the Bills get in as a seventh seed, I mean nobody's going to want to play them because. You know, they got the experience. I know they've been a big disappointment, you know, the last, uh, well, at least last year, because, you know, you thought they were going to, they were going to, you know, go further than how they did the previous year, especially with the playoff game that we got to see between him and Mahomes. Uh, but, yeah, now they, they uh, there's a possibility they might not make it at all. You know, you still got the Broncos there. I still give the Broncos a good shot. Uh, they play the Chargers, and they're at the Lions. Lions don't have a good defense, but, um, you know, that's going to be a tough game. Home against the Patriots, home against the Chargers, at the Raiders. Broncos could get the nine wins and maybe get in, um, depending on what the other teams do. Bengals are one game back. I mean, you know, they could – they have they have a shot, but – I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I, I'm ready to, to say they can make it, but who knows. Um, we'll move into the NFC now, actually. So you got the Eagles at the one. Niners are the two seed. Lions are the three. Falcons are the four. Cowboys are the five. Vikings are the six seed. Packers are the seventh. And then you got the Rams and the Seahawks, who are the eight and nine teams, and they're tied. Um, but the Packers hold the tiebreaker over those two teams. Um... Yeah, Vikings. I mean, what happened with Josh Dobbs on um, on Monday night a couple weeks ago? Yeah, that's uh, that's an issue, um, and hopefully they can uh, you know fix that, and he could be back to how he was playing the first couple of games with the Vikings. You know, you're getting Justin Jefferson back, um, and it's funny. I've been on and off the Packers, so I was like, hey, maybe this team can make the be a wild card team this year, and then they just were playing so bad, and I'm like, all right, well that doesn't look like that's gonna happen, and now they've won three in a row. They beat the Chiefs this past week. So, you know, then they got the Giants, they got the Bucks, the Panthers, the Vikings, the Bears. I mean, those are all winnable games, you know. This team could definitely get to 9-10 wins. Uh, I don't want to say they're going to win every single game, but I, I think they could get in. I mean, if they went out, they're in. Um, you know, and for the Rams, I mean, they got the Ravens which I don't think they're going to win. But then you got the Commanders, the Saints. I think you can win those games at the Giants. I think you should win that game. Um, so that's another team that's looking at nine wins. Uh, the Vikings at the Raiders, uh, that might be a tough game, but I think they can win that. At the Bengals is going to be, I mean, if Jake Browning plays like he did, you know, yesterday, that's going to be a tough game. Um, you play the Lions twice and you play the Packers in Lambeau. So they got to... Yeah, they got a tougher schedule. Um, and then for Seattle, yeah, they got the Niners again. Then they got the Eagles at the Titans, home against the Steelers, and then at the Cardinals with Kyler. They got a tough schedule too. So, um, I mean, you still got the Buccaneers and the Saints who are one game back. Um, Bucks got the Falcons, which, I mean, I thought they could beat the Falcons when they played them back in Week 7, but they lost. So I feel like they're going to lose again. Then they play the Packers who have been playing better. The Jaguars game is going to be interesting now because, you know, we got to see is Trevor Lawrence going to be back. Um, is Trevor Lawrence going to miss extended, an extended period of time? Because um, if he doesn't play and you're dealing with C.J. Beathard, then that changes everything. Then you're home against the Saints, a team you already beat. And then you're, home against, or then you're uh, at Carolina, which I think they should win. Um, right now, I'm kind of looking at the Bucs as maybe getting – seven wins 
which I hope doesn't happen, but that's where I'm at right now with them. And then for the Saints, home against the Panthers, I mean, I think they could still win even without Derek Carr. Home against the Giants, I mean, I think they should win that, but, you know, how they play, who knows. Um, at the Rams, they can win that, but right now I look at the Rams as a better team. At Tampa, they already lost to them, and then they're home against the Falcons. So, I mean, I look at the Saints maybe getting seven, eight wins, but... And, but that's just because of how they've been playing. I mean, they, they should be playing better than what the record shows. But it's just that they're, they're the Saints are a weird team. And I keep saying every week, I'm not going to pick them. I'm not going to pick them. I'm not going to pick them. I still pick them, except this past week. I did pick the Lions. But then the Saints, I thought, were going to cover at one point. And I would have been so mad if that happened because, you know, the one week I don't pick them, they finally, you know, cover. And they they almost did. I mean, give them credit. They were down twenty-one nothing, and they uh, they battled back, but it just wasn't enough. And uh, like I said, you gotta protect your quarterback better. Um, but you know that uh, that NFC South, and the thing that really angers me is, listen, the Cowboys are a good team, but if they end up not winning the division, they're gonna face the winner of the NFC South. That's gonna be another you know freebie. For them to get into the divisional round. Because they're better than every team in that division. Like, they, like they, the Cowboys playing the Falcons, the Cowboys should win that game easily. But again, crazier things have happened. But I that, that might be what ends up happening. They can end up in Tampa again, the Saints. You know, I mean, I, the Cowboys are better than all those teams. You know, so... But, hey, you know what? The Cowboys, they could still win the division. It's still possible. I mean, this game against the Eagles is huge. We're obviously going to talk about it, um, you know, during the week. Because, you know, listen, the Cowboys almost beat the Eagles the last time they faced each other in Philly. Now they're at home where they're really good. Um, they did almost lose to Seattle. But, you know, now, that I mean, they, they could have been looking past Seattle and looking at, uh, at Philadelphia. And, like, that's the game that we're ready for. But... The thing is, though, the Eagles are coming off of a really bad loss, so they're going to be, you know, they're going to be mad going into this game. So that game's going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully, I said Niners-Eagles was going to be a lot of fun, and look what happened with that. Um, although I was, you know, okay with the outcome. But um, hopefully the Sunday night game between Dallas and Philly uh, is a classic because um, we've seen a lot of those over the years. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it with the show for today. Uh, make sure to look out for uh, yesterday's show being reposted into the four segments. I'll be working on that today. Also, the shorts that will be released throughout the day. Uh, but, yeah, that is all the time that we have for today. I uh, thank you guys for watching. As always, I am your host, Kenneth Gruenfelder, signing off from the GSMC Football Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. Have a good day, and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care.